but we have to be realistic. Not everybody in this world is nice. Hi guys, my name is Yeti Alamide Edinburgh and welcome back to Living Life with Your Favorite Nurse. So if you're new to my channel, we are all about health and wellness, lifestyle and beauty, and a little bit of nursing. So don't forget to subscribe and join the family. And if you're one of my returning subscribers, welcome back. So today we are talking about being a new grad nurse. What is it like? Honestly, I have been a nurse for more than a year now and it has just been a very, very interesting experience. And I feel like when I started um, being a new grad or you know when I just got my first nursing job I really wish I had kind of watched a video that kind of talked about what it would be like I know everyone's um, Experience is different, but I was like, you know what? Why don't I talk about some of the things that I experienced and maybe some questions that I would have liked answered uh, Before I started like my first nursing job or just you know jumped into the field of nursing so let's just chit chat. So my first job was in a continuing care um, hospital. Um, if you have watched some of my other videos or kind of heard me talking about it, I absolutely hated it for many reasons, which I will talk about in another video. But that was my first job and it was just absolutely awful. That's not where I did my consolidation. I decided to go work there just because I got a lot of encouragement to, you know, to go work in the hospital and not lose my skills uh, working, let's say, in public health or somewhere that wasn't clinical. So that's where I went and I was there for about four or five months. So while I was working at the continuing care hospital, I also got a part-time job as a nurse coordinator working in the community with um, the homeless population who are also palliative. So I was doing both of those at the same time. Was it easy? No. After that, what did I do? After that, I eventually left the continuing care um, hospital and then I started working at uh, long-term care. I actually ended up doing their new grad program um, that you can do, uh, which is like a couple months Sometimes it's a year, but mine was just a couple months working with different nurses on different floors and basically learning from them. It's kind of like you're in school again, uh, but this time you're getting paid. So I did the new grad program for about three to four months while I was still working as a nurse coordinator in the community. After that, then I moved to public health and I've been at public health um, for about a year now. So that's basically my career journey um, in a year plus. And let me tell you guys, you do not have to stay at your first job forever. The job that you choose after university is not your end all be all. If you don't like it, know that you can move forward. Um, a lot of people are like, don't change jobs, stay in the same job, you'll love it. But honestly, if it affects your mental health, if it's just something you don't like, or if it's just a floor that you don't like, and you know, you're really honest about it to yourself and you really think you need to leave, leave. So I'm really, really happy I left my first job. So that's just one thing I wanna get out there that do not be anywhere that affects your mental health. Do not be anywhere that, you know, hurts you somewhat physically and things like that. Like you have a long career ahead of you. And if you force yourself to go to work every day when you hate what you're doing or you hate where you are, it is going to make this profession long. It's going to make your days even longer because nursing is hard as it is. So you actually need to be somewhere that you actually want to be. I'm not saying that even if you choose somewhere that's amazing that there won't be difficult times, but it's better that you're somewhere that you want to be and then you experience those difficult times opposed to being somewhere that you hate and then also going through a lot at the same time. It's just, it's just not the way to go. So definitely think about that if you're entering a job or if you're in a job currently that you know it's just not working for you. So I'm just gonna answer some questions that I feel like I had when I was a new grad. And the first one is, do nurses eat their young? And were people mean? Like were people nice, you know, when I started working? So in regards to nurses eating their young, um, I don't want to lie and say that it's not true. It's absolutely true. Um, but that should not worry you or scare you too much. To be honest, there are people that will see you as competition. There will be people that see you 
um, and think that you think that you know more than them or that you have something to prove. So automatically, yes, you are going to meet mean people because there are mean people in this world. Like there's no perfect answer to this question, but we have to be realistic. Not everybody in this world is nice. So even if you go work at a different job and you ask like, will people be mean to me? Like, I don't know, but just know that not everyone in this world is nice and some people are. That's just a fact. So yes, there were people at my first job that were just awful to me, absolutely awful. They just made me feel stupid all the time. Um, and there were absolutely people that were so nice to me. There is one nurse who I was buddied with who I still text. She's a lot older than me, but she is amazing. She was like my uh, work mother. So basically you get both ends of the spectrum. Definitely draw near to the people that appear nice or that seem nice and you know you don't have anything to prove you're here to work you're here to help people you're here to earn your money but you don't have anything to prove to these nurses that let's say have been here for 20 30 years you're here to do your own job not theirs the best thing you can do is honestly just come to work and do your best and honestly that's really it so the next question is was it hard being a new grad you know was it hard being a newbie and the answer to that is absolutely Anytime you do something that's new or that's out of your comfort zone, it's going to be hard, it's going to be difficult, it will be a challenge. And it was a challenge because I was a student and now I'm kind of on my own. I'm buddied with someone, you know, that will kind of show me the ropes, but, you know, I don't have a clinical instructor anymore. I don't have, you know, teachers to grade me. I'm literally just here to do my job and work. I have a certain amount of time to get everything together and know what I'm doing, and then I would say you're on your own to an extent. So now when it's hard, what do you do? You know, now you look for those people that appear nice, people that you might be able to call work friends. I don't call everyone work friends because not everyone, you know, is out there with my best interest. But those people that you think you can trust, if you have questions, go to them. If you have, um, I can't remember what, what you call them, but they're on the floor to basically help you. Um, advanced practice, like people are just people that are meant to help you on the floor. Like the, the name isn't coming to my head. If I think of it, I'll put it up. But if you ever have questions, go to those people. Um, I would say go to your manager, but you know, not all the time because you wanna you wanna look like you got it together. But look for resources that you can use to help you. Um, know that you're not alone. Yes, you have your own patience, but you can still ask other people to help you. Try not to do it every single second because you have to be as independent as you can. But when you really need someone, don't be afraid to ask because you are new. You're not expected to know absolutely everything in the world. You like, people would have been there for 20 years. They know a lot of stuff. Like, you're not expected to be like blank. Like, you made it this far. You should know some stuff. But at the same time, there might be some things that you don't know. Like, this is a new floor to you. Like, where do you find the syringes? Where do you find this? Like, where can I get this? Where can I do that? So definitely for yourself, look. Try your best to, you know, get the answers on your own. But if you cannot find them, look for people to ask. So another question is, do you think that school prepared you, you know, for your first job or like really to be a nurse? And it did um, because all the, you know, the technical stuff, like all the theory stuff rather, like we all needed them to an extent. No, we needed them, not even to an extent. We all needed it you know, to work. We all needed it to understand how the heart works. We all needed it to understand why this person is not breathing. So school did prepare us theory wise. Like I don't think I really, really learned. Like I would say, I don't think I learned like a huge amount when I started working, but I would say like within different specialties, like let's say when I, when I went into palliative care, like I learned a lot more meds um, than I did before. Or like I learned that certain people will take these type of meds. So like maybe in your specialty, you'll know more about it than you did in school because you're really specific there, like in surgery or in mother baby, like you just kind of know a lot more. So over time you start, you know, to learn, but I wouldn't say like school did not prepare me. I wasn't ready at all. And I would absolutely say clinicals did prepare me, like having my rotations, working with patients, trying things, practicing things, those do prepare you. Like it's not crazy foreign when you start working like, oh, I've never done this before. Like you have, so know that you are prepared and you're ready for this. So the next question is, did you make any mistakes? 
I don't have anything on the top of my head like I, I didn't kill anyone um, so I like I didn't make a mistake that I just fully remember that was awful but that doesn't mean like there might be a mistake that I made that I didn't even realize and one thing that you should know is that you making a mistake doesn't make you a bad nurse but one thing you should also do is definitely check your work check everything you do check that this is the right patient check that this is the right med like they really really drill that in you for a reason in school because once you know you're on your own you're working as a nurse like no one is looking over your shoulder no one is you know telling you to do that stuff so that's something that has to be ingrained in you because all you need to do is make one mistake and kill somebody and i'm not saying that to scare you but that's just something that you need to know so like yes it was annoying in school and they're like be sure this is the right time the right route the the right frequency all that stuff and you're just like i get it but they literally, literally did that for a reason to protect us from losing our license. So I didn't really make any mistake that was like crazy or anything, but know that you can make mistakes and you know that like they do happen, but you know, try your best to not make them. But again, they do happen. So the next question is how long was orientation and orientation can be different. Um, lengths depending on where you work like the first job I worked um orientation like we had in class for I think I want to say two weeks two weeks let's say two weeks and then um I had like buddy shifts with another nurse for like almost a month but there were like three or four shifts a week so like I think I had I think I had about 12 like buddy shifts with a nurse um, some days some evenings and some nights so it's hard to say how long orientation will be because when I became a nurse coordinator I only had two buddy shifts and like one in class day so three compared to like 12 plus so it is different um, so that that question is hard to answer but I've gotten that a couple times but yeah like it, it really differs but I know when they know that you're a new grad, they will give you a lot of training opportunities. They will give you like a lengthy orientation period. When I became a nurse coordinator, being that I applied for a job that they asked for a lot of experience, I didn't really expect them to give me like a month of orientation because I had applied to something that they asked for like two years experience. So. So the last question is, did patients treat you okay knowing that you're new? Like, were they nice to you? Were they mean to you? Did they not trust you? And honestly, no one really needs to know that you're new. Um, because someone can be training you, and it could be that you're just coming from a new floor. It doesn't even mean that, like, you're a new nurse. You might look, like, let's say really young if you just, you know, went to high school and then went to university. Like, you might look young. Um, so they might just think you're a young person. But you don't need to be like, hi. My name is Yeti, I'm a new grad. Like no one really needs to know your business. The only person that needs to know you're new is you. So I wouldn't say that anyone um, made me like feel bad because I was new or, or said like, oh, are you a new nurse? I had someone be like, my cancer is um, older than you are, even though they didn't know my age, but I guess I look young. Um, so like I had people that really commented more on the fact that I looked young um then the fact that i was a new nurse like i really don't think anyone ever commented and said like oh you're new oh you're slow or you're this it was more like so how old are you or i think my daughter is older than you or stuff like that and people will always be snooty people will always just be people um this job requires that you just push forward ignore what people say um but definitely like take their feedback but if anyone has anything mean racist rude to say to you just block that that does not not need to go in your ears you do not need to hear that sometimes i'll just be like mm -hmm. or just like i won't say anything because it's a waste of my time it's just it's not helpful so i don't take any of that stuff and over time that will get better and easier in the beginning um you know someone was like oh my god that needle hurt and I was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Like, I'm so sorry. Like, and I was thinking like, can I not give needles? Like, are my hands too hard? Like, I was just thinking and I was like, you know what? I'll do my best. I'll keep like making sure my needles aren't painful. And then I had some, 
be like, oh, I didn't even feel that. So some people just complain, but that doesn't mean like you shouldn't look at your practice and learn, you know, to fix things and improve yourself. But sometimes just know that people sometimes don't have anything good to say to you and are just mean just mean people so you will meet those people but just do your best to keep pushing forward you know you made it this far for a reason and you are an amazing nurse and you will be an amazing nurse so those were some of the questions I felt like I would have liked to have been answered when I started um, you know this new grad life and things like that so I hope you guys enjoyed this video you know comment below don't forget to subscribe and just let me know how you are doing as a new grad nurse I hope you guys have an amazing week. Thank you for tuning in and keep living life from your favorite nurse.